Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg. Today we're gonna to take a look at the Griffin Technology Slap Case for the iPod Nano 6th Generation. This item sells for $24.99 and it comes in a variety of colors. It comes in pink, purple, yellow, red, black, green, blue, and orange. While I was at my Apple store the other day, my local Apple store, they had it in both black and pink, so I grabbed the black one. And if you're not familiar with the slap case, this is a watch style case for the iPod Nano 6 Gen. I'm not sure that I'll wear my Nano as a watch, but when I saw it, I was like, wow, it looks pretty cool, and I wanted to check it out. And maybe on the days when I do carry the Nano, I might choose to carry it on my wrist as a watch. So let's get into this. I've already had it open and playing with it a little bit. It's pretty fun. I was surprised at how cool it actually was. I'll be the first to admit, again, I didn't think it would be all that interesting, but I was pleasantly surprised after using it for a little bit. So let me get all this packaging out of the way. You can see it comes with a, a quite a bit. So if you're familiar with the slap style bracelets that were popular, I don't even know when, the 80s, the 90s, my kids even play with them now. This is a take on that. This is uh, a silicone style case that has memory metal inside. Say that five times fast. So the metal is flexible and you can take it and kind of stretch it out so it's totally flat. And then when you go to put it on your wrist, you slap it and when I do that after I get it in here, it will mold and form to the size of my wrist. So let me take a little insert out. Comes a little dummy nano. And before I put it in, let me just show you exactly you know, how everything looks uh, on the exterior. You can see it has the Griffin logo kind of embossed there. It's pretty subtle though, and it's gonna be on your wrist. It's gonna be on the bottom. You won't really notice it. It has a cutout for the headset jack, so you can actually listen to your music while you're wearing it on your wrist. And then it has rubberized buttons there, or covers for the buttons, for your volume buttons and the sleep awake. Now, just like most of the watches I've seen, you do have to put your Nano in um, kind of upside down or sideways, if you will. So you have to reorient the screen. I don't know how most of you use your Nano, but for me, let me turn mine on. I've been using it when it's not in a case, kind of in this position, um, with the sleep awake button at the top, just like you would you know, anything else, your iPhone or your iPod. But in order to, to use this, the headset jack has to be to the right, which means you have to kind of reorientate it so that the sleep awake button is to the left. Once you've got that all set, you st simply stick it in, kind of just like you do any silicone case. And uh, let me kind of wedge it in there. It takes a little bit of you know work to get it fully seated in there and it kind of just pops in. It'd be nice if you could take the clip off these things and uh, you know do it that way, but um, not to be, because it does make it a little bit thick, as you can see with the clip there. But once it's in, it's kind of a, a fully you know seated, fully uh, enclosed look. It really doesn't even look as though the Nano is in there at all. I have the red Nano and you'd be hard pressed to kind of make out any of the red material once it's in there. So let me take my watch off. I do have my Phosphor e-ink watch on right now. Let me take that off just so I can show you, hopefully I can do this on camera, the slap kind of just line it up and you slap it down. Um, I have been finding it kind of does this. It, it doesn't go on all the way. You do kind of have to massage it down. But once you do, it, you know, it locks to your wrist kind of permanently. Um, really nice form fitting. It feels good. It's quite comfortable to wear. Even though it's pretty large, it's not all that heavy and it still remains quite comfortable. As I mentioned, the sleep awake button is there to the left. Simply press it. If you configure your Nano so that the clock comes on every time you turn it on, you'll have that clock there and you can see the time. Of course, it's gonna shut off after a few seconds, but um, it is there and if you wanna go to the iPod, you simply you know, flick and now you're on your iPod screen. As I mentioned, the volume buttons are there on the side and you can use them to raise or lower the volume right from the watch itself. Yeah, is it a pain to have to press a button to turn your watch on and off every time? Yeah, it is, but if you've used any watch that's like this, like let's say one from Tokyo Flash, which I uh, actually just ordered my first Tokyo Flash watch and I'll be reviewing that soon, those you all have to press a button to turn on, so I don't necessarily have a problem with it. I actually think, like I said, if I were to be using my Nano for the day, I might do this. I'm all about convergence. I might choose to use this as my watch and therefore you know, leave my watch at home. I don't have to worry about carrying the Nano. I know it's right there on my wrist all the time and uh, you know it doesn't look all that bad again it's quite comfortable and uh, I really like it if nothing else it's a fun toy uh, you know to keep doing this slap thing over and over again 
Um, you can also do it over your clothing. Uh, it, you know, it's, it's fun. So it's certainly an eye catcher, definitely a conversation piece. People see this on your wrist. They're gonna to wanna to know what it's all about. They're gonna ask you, you know, what are you wearing? And you can tell them, I'm wearing my Nano. So the slap case is available directly from the Griffin Technology website, as well as Apple retail stores. Again, for $24.99, it's available in a variety of colors. If you have any questions about this or anything else, please feel free to drop me a line. Otherwise, you have a great day.